we've arrived to Chiapas, finally, after a 10 hour drive. And we are in the Canyon del Sumidero. Canyon del Sumidero. I, I, I said that right? <laughs> yeah, very good. And the real win on today is I picked up a fresh hat for $5. <laughs> What what what? One thousand meters way up there. <laughs> Look at this waterfall underneath right now. I've never seen anything quite like it. Wow, so we just got off the boat. That trip was insane. Way better than I ever expected. I didn't know what to expect, really. It was $150 total for a private boat, so it was 50 US dollars each. And if you wanted to go on a public boat with like 15 to 20 people, it's around 10 to $15 or something, 250 Mexican pesos. So for us, it was worth it to stop at all the cool spots and take photos and videos. So anyways, highly recommend this one. Completely blown away. But we're going flying on a little four-seater today over some lagoons and stuff like that. It's, oh, I'm stoked, it's so good. Can't wait. My goodness, that was the best prop plane I've ever been on. I did not expect it to be that crazy. There was like three unbelievable world-class waterfalls, three or four of those amazing lagoon lakes. I just couldn't stop filming the whole time, but also trying to balancing it with like enjoying the moment as well. Incredible. Oh. Top, top recommendation. Lisa, are you back in action? I'm alive. <laughs> <laughs> we did a few dips and dives in the plane and then all of a sudden Lisa went, or she just went a little bit ghostly, a bit sweaty. Uh, Never like, in my life have I experienced something like that. That was so insane. Like I was like, that's it. I'm gonna pass out. I'm just gonna faint. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Hasta luego. Don't work on your own. Okay, we arrived to Lake Pojo, and we are taking this little raft. Out here, with an island. It's kind of cool. This is the lakes that we saw from the air, and the water is really blue and clear. Can't wait to jump in here. You guys are all jumping in. Let's be honest. It's so clear. It's actually not that. Cool. Yeah. That wraps up our time here at the National Park of Lagos de Montebello. Awesome time. Now we're heading back three hours to San Cristobal. So 
So today we're exploring the main town of San Cristobal. We spent the last two days kind of going outside of the city, but now it's time to actually look what the city's got to offer. It's pretty beautiful in here, which is awesome. This main square of San Cristobal is so cool. It's so full of life. All the vendors are out selling. There's like a bunch of pigeons, there's kids playing, there's people just hanging out with families. Really, really nice spot to be here. So this is called Nieves and it's like the Mexican ice cream. It's not exactly creamy, it's very icy and watery and the only ingredients that it has is ice, milk, cacao and sugar. And that's it. Yeah, it's really good. I like yeah, it. Not bad. Nieves. That means snow. That means snow? Oh, yeah. Nieves, like neige. Okay. But this one, chocolate? Chocolate? Rico. Rico, si. Sí. We can't take Katsi anywhere. Everywhere we go. How many have we had today? Like five, six people? Yeah, I think it's about five. It doesn't help that she's wearing the brightest dress. Yeah, it's like right. a magnet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Kathy has taught us the Spanish version of punch buggy, no punch back, and it's called bocho. Bocho. And we've been playing, and I've been losing a lot. As yeah, you can see, I already got hit. Just got this one. I already it's got smashed. Yeah. Destroy them. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna find all the bochos. Oh. See this? El andador eclesiástico. That right there is a bocho. Oh, bocho. No. El acá. Oh. oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, oh God. Yes, yes. Where? Where? Liar, liar. Where's a bocho? Oh, there is a bocho. Hueva! Who's there? Who's way over there. All right, I've earned it. I've earned it. Double, double, double. I've earned it. Ay, ay. <laughs> oh, Bocho! Oh, that yeah. one? Bocho, that, that one, that red one, you mean? Yeah. This place has a million Bochos. I mean, I bruised arms over here. Look at this. Oh, I didn't see this one. Ooh, okay. carnitas, which one? Tacos de pastor. Of course. Tacos de pastor. Two for 15? I think so. <laughs> so annoying. Those tacos de pastor. <laughs> it's called Los Chapulines. Los Chapulines. Taco dance. All right. Mexican El Pastor tacos with Oaxaca cheese. Street tacos for the win. Mmm, so yum. Ahora levanta un pie! Un pie! So the sun is set and we're back in the main square and it is going off right now. There's so many people preparing for the night market, as you can see behind me. It is amazing. This is the place to be at night for sure. So famous that you know gets interrupted all the time. The night, <laughs> and it is fish at the store. What do you do? Why go? That <laughs> the hottest chili I've had in Mexico so far. Serrano, Julia. Oh. What happened? What happened? <laughs> I made a bad <laughs> She's stopping the traffic. <laughs> I feel so bad.
So we've arrived to a village outside of San Cristobal and it's called Sinacantan. We managed to get into a kitchen where they're showing us some local ways to cook and make tortillas. And they don't speak Spanish here, they speak their own dialect in this village. But they wear really cool outfits here. It's like covered in flowers and sewn with wool, etc. Anyways, enjoy some of these shots. We're pros at this already because we did a cooking class. Nailed it. You didn't inflate. That means you're not ready to be married. Frijoles. This is inflating. Oh, mine's inflating. Look. Ready for marriage. Mark is ready for marriage. So the normal age of marriage here is 15 to 16. So. I think I'm over the hill. <laughs> I think I'm past my prime. I'm supposed to be having grandchildren now. Yeah. Okay, frijoles. Uh, que rico. Muy bien. Muy rico. Delicioso. Me encanta. Me fascina. Me fascina. We're expanding his vocabulary. <laughs> We have arrived to Agua Azul and the water is not that azul. And because of the rain, the water turns a little bit more like this chocolate milk color. As you can see, it's not that blue, but that's just a gamble, of course. And sometimes you get the blue water when it hasn't rained in a while. And sometimes you get this because it's full of all the silt that's been washed down the river. But it is still incredibly beautiful. Some of these patterns are wild. here we have to swim it's a world-class place when it looks amazing and it still is amazing it's just sandy so time to jump in it's green. <laughs> Lisa we just had to come to Mexico during hurricane season I know <laughs> before we came here we there was actually three hurricanes and flooded everything snow days waterfalls yeah. Gracias. Much Fresh. Mm, just the right amount. Sour and sweet. So nice. Try some. Cheers. That is some freshly squeezed. Oh my god. It's best. I know how good. <laughs> So Lisa and I have arrived to Roberto Barrios. Katy has a headache today, so she's not with us today. However, this waterfall is way better than Agua Azul. You just have free reign to do whatever you want. There's like no one here, and the water is like a nice color of blue versus yesterday. I know it's because of the hurricanes, but it's actually crazy here. There's so many different waterfalls. We're at number one of five, and it just keeps going. Beautiful waterfall after beautiful waterfall. You can swim in them all. I'm so excited for today. Let's go explore.
You're the new Canadian Spider-Man. <laughs> It's nighttime now and we just finished up at the waterfall. But we came here around 11.30 and we stayed all day. This is the nicest waterfall I have ever been to. Compared to Agua Azul, there is no, there is no comparison. All right, that wraps up this travel video from the state of Chiapas, Mexico. If you found this video enjoyable or helpful in any way, please give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, and consider subscribing if you aren't already. Catch you in the next one.